Hi there. A couple of days ago, I asked you a question, and that is, what is the percentage of farmers, people working in agriculture, in the developed countries? And uh, you gave all kinds of answers. Now let's see the numbers. So as an example, I will use Germany, um, and then I will give you some more details. So let's look on Germany, and we will start 140 years ago. The year is um, 1882. And at that year, 40% of the population of Germany dealt with agriculture, 40%. Okay, that is very much like the underdeveloped or the less developed countries today of Asia, Africa, uh, Latin America, and others. Just before Second World War, that is 1937, this number already dropped by half to 20%. Okay, 20%. Uh, that means that Germany is becoming more and more industrialized. Now let's jump a little bit more, and that is now to the year uh, 2000. Okay, so the year 2000, 20 years ago, the percentage uh, is about 1.2%. We, we are talking about a little bit more than 1 million people out of 82 million people. Um, 2010, we're talking about less than 1 million, already about seven, um, uh, 750,000 people. So that is already less than 1%. Now there are other details that says other numbers, um, which is uh, the most recent one is talking about 1.4%, but I think that it is neglected, okay? The main idea is to say, look, we are not talking about 50% or 60 or 70. We are not even talking about 40%. Very important to deliver the message. The message is that in developed countries, we have less than 5% employment in agriculture. This is also the average in the European Union. Uh, we can see that the European Union is not one unit, and we can see countries with much more, what, much higher percentage. That means that they are less developed. The ones that with very little, small percentage, either they don't deal with agriculture or they are highly developed. Uh, and I will end up with the number of Israel. In Israel, and that is in Israel, the number is uh, less than 10%, less than 1%, less than 0.5%. Okay? So we should expect leaders in uh, the developing countries, in the less developed countries, where more than 40% of the population is dealing with agriculture, one, you should know it can be changed. And I just gave you the example of Germany. Second, it means, and it's going to reflect on the entire economy. And it doesn't go one without the other. You get better uh, agriculture and you get less people involved in agriculture. And you will have more food and higher income. That is the good news. Get ready for it, okay? You cannot hold both sides. You don't want. 50% of the population working in agriculture and to have an advanced economy. It's not going to take place. It never did.
Bye bye from Ghana, Africa.